finally I'm in the 1.5 liter C200 sedan. Okay, so this one has an EQ logo here, as you can see. This means this is fitted with the ISG system, the integrated starter generator system. And um, it, it actually replaces your alternator. So our alternator has a belt that connects to the engine, right? The engine would drive and it would charge the, uh, the alternator would charge the battery. So this one also acts like an alternator. It will also charge the battery and crank the engine. Okay, so it helps with uh, efficiency. It provides momentary boost. Um, we'll see how it goes. All right, now even though this is the low spec or the base variant of the, the facelifted C-Class, uh, you get some pretty good stuff as well. You get power steering adjustment. Hey, in this segment, I don't think there are others with power steering adjustment. So, I mean, this is not something that you would adjust all the time, but having it here also shows that, you know, you get, you get to feel more atas, right? right? Feel more luxurious to have this. Uh, the pedals are plastic in the uh, C200. Uh, the steering column, the steering wheel, okay, it's, it's still a nice steering wheel. It feels good. The material feels good. And then the seats, you get this adjustment that extends the base. Uh, it's quite crucial because these seats are not very supportive, to be honest. And uh, you have the clock. Yeah. The analog clock. Yeah, the analog clock, analog. which you don't get in the coupe range. Quite interesting. All right, let's move on and uh, let's go for a drive. Let's go. 1.5. Four cylinder as well, so it's not the uh, the BMW's three cylinder. This one has 184 horsepower, 280 Newton meters. Yeah, 280 Newton meters of torque, and immediately I can tell this thing will outgun the 318. But they are of a different price point as well. This one is priced about 10,000 ringgit more than the 330e and of course the 330e is way more capable than this <laughs> oh yeah Vios road tax 90 <laughs> ringgit I'm in sport plus mode I think now the new generation c-class I can comfortably say that you can leave it in sport plus because they no longer jerk the car they no longer do silly gear shifts is it's pretty livable okay we just picked up oh sorry what was your name again <laughs> camille camille yeah. lison camille, camille and lison visitors from france yeah, to yeah. malaysia how do you do them <laughs> oh <laughs> many many years of practice <laughs> yeah, <that's a> <laughs> So they are enjoying our beautiful country. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now I'll punch you. Okay. <laughs> and now they get to sit in the back seat of the new seat on there. So would you like to tell us how this car is for you as a ride? It's comfortable. Yay! Yeah, it's comfortable. It's good. <laughs> Très bien. Huh? What, 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 what's that? Très bien. Oh, very good. Very good I'm just a driver. I'll just keep going. <laughs> Is this quite a few countries? No, right? No, not here, right? Let, do, do let us know. Yeah, let us know because... Five minutes. Another five. You, you've okay. got your map still open, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to pick up people and strike a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bobby just dropped off the passengers and now he's going crazy. <laughs> I think the biggest improvement in the in the facelift C-Class is 
it's a transmission I would say um, of course it hasn't reached like absolute brilliant levels yet but but it's it's unlike previously how C classes were you know and I left it in sport plus mode because the suspension is rather pliant I think this car you can just leave it in sport plus mode and then you get a sharp throttle response very good gear uh, shifts and it just drives really well and you see how fast am I going now 110 120 on roads like this I don't need to go any faster oh very pliant huh? yeah. <laughs> that, that was very yeah that was very good that was really good and um, there wasn't a time where I felt that oh this car is underpowered so unlike BMW's 1.53 cylinder Mercedes approach of putting this four cylinder 1.5 with an ISG I think this is good very good in fact now I'll be honest with you uh, does it beat the 3 series or the Jaguar XE no of course not they did a very good job Really, this engine really <laughs> good, right? For yes, 1.5. for one point five. You're paying Vios road tax, man, for this kind of performance. Huh? The phone corner still came out from the cup holder. Yep. <laughs> the car absorbs it well. It settles back very fast. I appreciate that. This is really like the bird ring. Yeah, it is. Very close. <laughs> the way the car is being driven. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I love the way you just sit back down. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. You just sit yeah. back down again and push yeah. into the next corner. Yes. It's very nice. Like just now, like that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. the one complaint that I always said about the C-Class being lack of lack of uh, left foot rest I'm sorry the left foot rest is still not there so I find my left feet now pressing against the foot well half a bump there and uh, I would have preferred to have a proper comfortable foot rest because the pressure that I put on is just on the, the, the what do you call that the ball the ball is behind right yeah. of, of the pressure all the pressure is there because the C-Class doesn't have a proper foot rest It's just one slight bump So uh, when you corner hard and all that Inevitably the left foot will be there So this Malaysia is green heaven Yeah man Oh <laughs> green heaven yeah. yeah Germany has a green hell yep. Yeah let's call this green heaven green right heaven. Because it's the oh, greenery green Yeah green. yeah Oh quite a bit because every straight every 140 150 that we goes up go up to uh, there's quite a bit of braking until we go to the sweeping bends yeah there are no corners it's just high speed sweeping bends mm. my god oh I bet you have a great time yesterday in the C300 oh yeah yes right charging up here yeah and it sounds good the car it sounds good as well and the power oh. In the C300 yesterday, uh, I, can I say that we are only pushing like 60% of the oh, car? Oh, easily. Right? Easily. This one we are pushing a lot. This more. one, I, I go full throttle a, a, quite a few times. Yeah, already. quite a few times. Yes. Full throttle. But it's nice to be able to full throttle a car. Yeah, yeah. How often you get to do that now nowadays? <laughs> Displacement engine. Uh, 
um, that means I mean it's a small displacement engine that means there can only be so much exhaust coming out boosting the turbos you can only have that much and um, but damn anything before that lovely lovely now on situations like that where you have multiple cars in front you need to overtake one by one that means accelerate you know immediately cut and then break and then you wait in um, then you will you will find that uh, so yeah small engine yes uh, it can be efficient um, but this sort of scenario you really need to press it down wait for the refs to come up you know go out a little bit then immediately it still has the push okay but it, it, it will not be as convincing as the 330e because on paper there's a there's a huge power uh, difference there okay after all the excitement of all the great roads that uh, we've been driving on now back to sort of suburban traffic right on roads that are similar to what we get uh, in KL um, the car I, I don't think there's any improvement on wind noise or road raw reduction it's still there but to me, I, as you all know, I'm not someone who is too crazy about, about, about these things because I don't know what's with the obsession with uh, wanting a car that doesn't have any sort, sort of noise. Um, it's, for me, it's totally bearable. Okay? And the C200 is on Bridgestone Turanzas. Again, not high performance tires like the uh, Continental 5 piece on the C300 but uh, they, they do their job pretty well pretty all right going high speeds around bends and all these things right are an, an, an intrinsic value of European cars you buy European cars because of that right and and this is a premium car it is a, a European premium car so it should be able to do that the reason we were thrilled we were happy is because the previous C-Class uh, you know transmission mapping wasn't that good um, suspension tuning wasn't that good and I'm happy to report that they have fixed all these things in in this facelifted C-Class now now this is an exceptionally heavy rain you all can hear right? I mean, to be fair, a lot of cars are like that, but I can feel the drops. <laughs> yes, very jammed. To bring you all this report, we go through so much hardship. Yeah. Hi guys, since we're in a major jam. Set temperature 21 degrees. It worked just now. Yeah. I'll vouch for it. <laughs> try it again, try it again. No, it hang. Cancel. Set temperature 21 degrees. Temperature 21 degrees. Yay! <laughs> yes. Or cancel. Cancel. Yeah. Lower all power windows. <laughs> Of course you're not lah, you think this is a Proton lah Not Proton X70 man Proton X70 can you know <laughs> Cancel <laughs> Okay guys The news just had it that The government will now provide subsidies for 1.5 litre and below and right? Yeah So So the C200 arrived just in time To join together with the BMW 318 and the 118 and the i8 to enjoy petrol subsidies <laughs> when my car is the one that needs it the most <laughs> uh, oh the iris doesn't qualify 1.6 oh iris doesn't qualify yeah this qualifies so the iris doesn't qualify so if you drive an iris buy a c200 <laughs> or an i8 and you get petrol subsidy. and you get petrol subsidy what <laughs>